As one of the world's largest shipbuilding countries, China's shipbuilding industry has made remarkable achievements in the past five years. Data in 2021 show that China's shipbuilding output reached approximately 39.7 million deadweight tons, accounting for 47.2% of the global total. Although this number has declined to 37.86 million DWT in 2022, it still accounts for 47.3% of the global total. This not only proves China's important role in the global supply chain, but also highlights its influence in global trade. But on December 9, 2022, news came that shocked the world. A Chinese shipping company announced the design of the world's first nuclear-powered container ship at an exhibition. But what is even more shocking is that China's first large nuclear-powered ship was not used for military purposes, but for civilian use. This development worries the United States and other countries. After all, this is the fifth country in the world to propose a nuclear-powered freighter technology solution after the United States, Germany, Japan, and Russia. Once China is able to build a large-scale nuclear power plant to propel such ships, the possibility of developing nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in the future will greatly increase. So, today we will discuss the significance of this latest nuclear-powered container ship and whether China already has the conditions to develop a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. According to the latest reports from China, the 24-000TU nuclear-powered container ship they are developing will adopt China's independently developed fourth-generation thorium-based molten salt reactor design, which has the advantages of low circuit pressure and good safety. In terms of propulsion system, this nuclear-powered aircraft carrier adopts innovative all-electric propulsion technology and is equipped with a dual-motor drive system ensuring strong power and efficient speed while providing excellent maneuverability. But for Western countries, they are more concerned about the power system of this 24-000TU large container ship. As far as I know, this nuclear-powered container ship marks China becoming the fifth country in the world to master nuclear-powered freighter technology after the United States, Germany, Japan, and Russia. Compared with the designs of other countries, such as the USS Savannah of the United States, the Otto Hahn of Germany, the Mutsu of Japan, etc., China's 24-000TU nuclear-powered container ship has a more advanced overall design. In particular, its reactor technology has demonstrated a high degree of reliability and excellent safety performance, making it technologically superior to previous designs. What's more worth mentioning is that the development of this ship has also triggered a broader discussion about marine nuclear power plants. Typically, the development of nuclear-powered military warships begins with onshore test reactors and then gradually transitions to actual shipboard applications, with civilian ships often being the starting point for this process. For example, Russia initially used naval nuclear reactors on icebreakers. Currently, the U.S. Navy has 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, including 10 Nimitz-class and 1 Ford-class aircraft carriers. They are the core of the U.S. Navy's ocean battle group. They are equipped with a variety of carrier-based aircraft and can attack air, sea, submarine, and launch attacks against land targets to protect U.S. maritime interests. So in this context, is it possible for China to continue to develop nuclear-powered aircraft carriers? In 2016, the U.S. Huffington Post predicted that China would have six aircraft carriers by 2025, including two nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. Although this prediction seemed overly optimistic at the time and seemed to overestimate China's military development capabilities, it now looks close to coming true. As of now, China already has three aircraft carriers and the newly developed Type 003 aircraft carrier has completed most of the process from launch to sea trials. China also plans to continue developing the Type 004 aircraft carrier, which is likely to be a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Regarding the 004 nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, although the official details have not yet been released, 
Some Chinese media have revealed the design and data of this type of aircraft carrier. One of the most notable features of the Type 004 aircraft carrier is its nuclear power system. This system uses nuclear energy as fuel. Compared with traditional aircraft carriers, its endurance is significantly enhanced and it can perform tasks in farther sea areas. The Type 004 aircraft carrier has a displacement of approximately 115,000 tons, which will make it the largest aircraft carrier of the Chinese Navy to date. Larger displacement means that the aircraft carrier can carry more carrier-based aircraft, missiles and equipment, thereby having stronger combat capabilities and strike power. In terms of carrier-based aircraft, the Type 004 aircraft carrier is expected to carry multiple types of carrier-based aircraft including the J-15, J-20, and J-35. Although the specific number of carrier-based aircraft has not yet been announced, based on the displacement and size of the aircraft carrier. It can be speculated that the carrier-based aircraft capacity of the Type 004 aircraft carrier will exceed that of previous models. This means that the aircraft carrier will be able to carry a larger number of carrier-based aircraft, thus improving its maritime combat capabilities. For any military power, a key advantage of a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is its astonishing range capability. On a single charge of nuclear fuel, it can travel up to 2 million kilometers, the equivalent of circling the Earth 50 times. In comparison, the maximum range of a traditional fuel-driven aircraft carrier when fully loaded with fuel is only 22,000 kilometers. This difference explains why China is so fascinated by nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. Possessing such aircraft carriers will greatly enhance its naval combat capabilities and is a key step in the transformation of the Chinese Navy into an ocean-going force. In today's world, aircraft carriers are not only an important part of naval power, but also an important indicator of a country's comprehensive national strength and maritime strategic capabilities. However, it should be emphasized that the above-mentioned information about China's 004 nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is still in its preliminary stage. And key details such as its specific technical specifications and combat capabilities have not yet been made public. The development and construction of a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is a complex and time-consuming process so we will need to wait for more official official statements or reliable sources to get a fuller understanding.